Hi, guys. We've made great progress so far. Our report is populated, and we are ready to take it to the next level. The next step we are going to take is to add slicers. This is one of our favorite new features in Excel, and in this video, you'll see why. Slicers are visual filters. When using a slicer, you can filter the data in a pivot table by clicking on the type of data you want. And the best part is that you will see what you have selected. When combined with Get Pivot Data, as we have done here, slicers become a really powerful tool, allowing you to create the most comprehensive reports, which executives will ask you to do. You will be ready beforehand with any tweaks they request. So, let's see how we can add slicers in practice. We have to open the sheet containing our pivot table. So, click on one of the cells of the pivot table, open the Insert tab, and select Slicer. The dialog box that appears allows us to select the variables for which we would like to add a slicer. So, let's see. What do we need? I will select Month, Brand, Size, Pack, Client, and Client Type. This should be enough for the needs of our report. Let's click OK, and boom! Here are our slicers. Let's select all of them contemporaneously by holding the Shift key and then use Ctrl and X in order to cut and paste them into our output sheet. OK, that's perfect! Now I'll have to play around with the slicer's size in order to improve the way they fit on the sheet. Remember, we want this to be a nice report that displays everything in one page and doesn't need additional scrolling. The users of the report will be able to see what's displayed on the left side and which filters have been applied through the slicers. That's amazing, right? Let me provide you with an example. If I want our report to display only figures for the Burrettino brand in January, I'll make the following selections. And, yes, now it shows numbers reflecting only Burrettino's performance in January. By following this logic, we can build reports at the speed of a single click, which is probably comparable to the speed of light. In our next lesson, we will learn how to enhance the appearance of slicers, so they appear the same as the report that we have on the left.